And uh, many of you may be wondering the, how Suwan Pum Airport is doing, but mm -hmm. it's a flood-free area right. now. So we send our reporter Kun Nanini to have a look at Suwan Pum Airport. Let's see what she has to say. The end of the year is usually a popular time for foreigners to visit Thailand. But this year, the Association of Thai Travel Agents say the floods are affecting the number of tourists coming into the kingdom. For example, 70% of group tours from China have been cancelled for November. The Chinese government has been warning its citizens not to travel to Thailand because of the floods. Many tourists have misunderstood media reports and believe that Don Mueang and Suwannapur International have been closed, though no flights are leaving Don Mueang until Tuesday. I am at the Suwannapur Airport. There is a rumor spread among foreigners or even Thais that the airport has been closed because of flooding. But as you see, it's still operating normally. Besides, commercial airlines, including low-cost airlines, expanded their flights to serve people who want to fly out of Bangkok for the long holiday announced by the government. Well, I will return to my hometown as well, so let's check in at the culture. The AOT has insisted that inbound and outbound flights are normal at Suwannapur. They say the flood walls are 3 meters high and go for 23 and a half kilometers around the airport. Passengers of Nok Air and Orient Thai Airlines, which moved its operations from Don Mueang, carrying about 130,000 passengers on 850 flights a day. That's a 20 to 30,000 increase in passengers. There have been no disruptions to other airlines. I'm Nantini Lalaiyat reporting for Thai PBS. That is to reassure that the Suwannapur Airport is still running properly. So coming here, a 